Okay, we have here the golf cart engine. Now, we're going to take the cylinder off, inspect the condition of the piston and the cylinder wall. Today we have me, Handyman, and we have Little Man. Say hi, Little Man. Hi. Okay, now we begin. We are going to have to disconnect the coil, and we're going to have to take the cover off and the spark plug. The old man will take off the spark plug wire to the coil. I always put my nut back on the coil back so you don't lose it. Just like alternators. Starters. They're a pain to find if you lose them. Look at that, this old burger bar. Alright little man, take take these out. Place them neatly over there then. Here. Alright, now we have the cylinder head off. Now piston seems like it's seized in there. So, this is what I want to move. Let's detach this uh, electric motor. Bar. 
we have confirmed that the piston is seized tight in the cylinder. All right, we finally got the piston out. We came up with the, we had to use the slide hammer. By OTC. Beautiful. Okay. What we came up with were whoever installed the piston didn't follow the ring down and it wedged in there. I'll show you an example. See that? See the ring right there? There should be at least one or two thousandths of an, you know, clearance in between there. So that's what was wrong with the golf cart. Look at the cylinder walls. Not too bad of shape. We hone those bad boys. Maybe get a new piston. But I'm not that concerned about it. I'll reuse that one. I don't recommend you do that at home. I'm doing it because I only pay $200 for a golf cart. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment below. Um take care.